morning, Captains. I'm Marion Hillman. And I'm Kyle Andrews. Today is Wednesday, May 9th. We're coming to you with another episode of WK Today. The fourth annual Waterford Kettering Color Blast 5K is coming up on May 19th. Registration forms and volunteer opportunities are available in room 105, 407, and wsdmi.org slash colorblast. See the website for more details about the great event coming up. Thanks. Yesterday we highlighted two of the summer courses available through Wayne State in the C2 Pipeline Program which is open to all Waterford High Schoolers. The C2 Pipeline is a way to get students out of traditional classrooms and into a field that they possibly want to study. Let's take a look at two more of their specialty programs. First, the Pharmacy and Health Sciences program, and the second, the Social Work program. The track that I chose was Pharmacy and Health Science, and I've been really involved in it, and I really want to get a career out of it. And I feel like this program really helped me out in that aspect. I originally thought I was just going to learn about pharmacy, but I learned a lot of different things that I never knew. I definitely have a lot of fun because you don't know what you're going to miss out and this camp does it for you. Before I enter senior year, I already know what the camp is going to be like. I already know how college is going to be like, what are my classes, what are my professors, so it gives great advising help and you get to network with a lot of people. Go Warriors! This is my third year being in the program. In the social work field, we did a lot of different things like how we should deal with the patient if they were to have diabetes. It's just great to be able to come back and get a different experience. able to do a lot of different things, meet a lot of new people. The whole experience is just really fun. So I'm going to miss the people I've, I've got to work with. All my C2 Pipeline staff members, they were all wonderful and if I could just keep them in my lives, I definitely would. This is something you wouldn't really want to miss out on. If you are interested in any of the C2 Pipeline programs, please see Ms. Warren in room 501 for an informational booklet. Now let's turn it over to Bryce for sports. Thanks. After school workouts on Mondays have been canceled for the remainder of the year. There will still be workouts on, Wednesday, on Wednesdays. Today it is yoga in the PAC. Please bring a towel or yoga mat and meet at 245. It's a busy day for Kettering today. Boys JV and Varsity Baseball will both face South Lion East at 4. JV is home and Varsity is away. Girls freshman softball will play Clarkston at home in a doubleheader starting at 4.30. At 5.30, the boys JV lacrosse team hosts South Lion East. Varsity will follow at 7. Finally, girls lacrosse will be away at South Lion, JV at 5.30 and Varsity at 7. Kettering Amat Varsity Baseball will be playing at Jimmy John's Field on Saturday, May 12th at 10 a.m. Weather, permit weather permitting. There is no admission charge and it's your opportunity to see this great facility and a great baseball game as we take on our crosstown rivals. Good luck, Captains. That's all for sports. Now back to you at the news desk. To all seniors and guests attending the Class of 2018 Senior Prom, doors will open at 6. You must be present with a valid ticket no later than 7.30. Prom will run from 6 until 11 with dinner served at 7. Any student who wishes to leave prom before 10.15 will have to inform a Kettering staff member who will contact your parent or guardian for consent. Each person will have an assigned seat at prom. Finally, while you are at Petrozello's, please note that any belongings may be searched if Kettering staff, event staff, or officers suspect anything. Let's make this a safe and memorable evening for everyone. Well, that's all we have for you today. Once again, I'm Erin Hillman. And I'm Kyle Andrews. Have a great rest of the day.